Hey Avon representatives, it's Emily Segrin. Welcome to my new team members. If you have joined Team Momentum, uh, if you have not joined our team, I am still happy to provide you with some information that will help you out as a new representative. So uh, I've been selling Avon since 2008. I sell at the President's Council level, uh, level five, and I am an executive unit leader. Um, it has taken me a long time and a lot of trial and error to get where I am, but I hope to be a helpful leader for you and uh, provide you with as much information as I can uh, so you don't have to go through as many trial and errors as I have to get where I am today. Um, so, uh, some helpful information. I have started a website called Makeup Marketing Online. Um, I have a lot of helpful information on there for representatives uh, regarding tips on selling online, leadership, and just building a bigger business. So um, be sure to look up Makeup Marketing Online. And again, I'm Emily Segrin. Um, look me up on Facebook, on different social media sites. Um, I communicate a lot with Team Momentum through Facebook and through emails and of course phone calls for uh, those of you that are interested in talking to me. So um, let's go through a campaign, your campaign schedule. Um, Avon runs on campaigns so every two weeks a new catalog comes out. Um, you can find your mail plan, which means uh, the date that your orders are due. Um, it's also known as RPS, and uh, there, are, there are RPS 1 through 10 right now. Um, you can find your campaign schedule on youravon.com by going under My Account, clicking on Profile on the left, um, and then under uh, account information, it will say uh, C calendar next to your RPS code. Um, so depending on which RPS you're in, your order is going to be due um, every other week that same day of the week. So um, currently I'm in RPS 7. I know that my orders are due on Thursdays. So every other Thursday I have an order due. Um, and on the RPS calendar, if uh, there's still a column that says uh, yoravon.com submission, that is the due date that you want to follow. Um, so just something helpful if you use a planner um, or you use electronic device, you know, go in there in the beginning of the year and um, you might want to pencil in the the next few months when your order is due. I like to use a traditional uh, weekly planner to keep track of my due dates. Um, so I have my own um, order due date in there every other Thursday. Um, another place you can look on yourevent.com in the upper uh, right hand corner when you're on uh, most screens in there, it will tell you um, when your next order is due. So right now mine says uh, your campaign three order is due um, by next Thursday. So uh, let's take a look at the commission chart. This you can find right now on yourevent.com under earnings opportunities and earnings chart. Um, so I'm saying everything right now because uh, things change around a lot and um, you know if you're like me you're nosy and you want to click on everything and figure out where everything is so um, try to look under where I say and if it's not there uh, do a little hunting because I'm sure it's on there somewhere. Um, the commission chart is based on a percentage where the more you sell, the more you earn. So um, if you sell $100 worth of Avon in your first campaign, you are going to earn 20% commission at this time. Um, the higher your total order amount becomes, the bigger percentage you're going to earn on, on your Avon orders. So um, be sure to look up the current commission chart 
and become familiar with that because you do not want to miss out on a higher earnings level um, because you're five or ten dollars away from from reaching it um, so become familiar with your commission chart and um, also learn the different levels of the President's Recognition Program. You can read about that on yourevon.com under the PRP tab. And there are various benefits for reaching each sales level. And uh, at a minimum, I always uh, recommend that my reps go for President's Club. Um, which right now is $10,000 in award sales for a cycle. Um, and that number could change in the future as well. So be sure you look at um, current Avon marketing materials to see the different levels and the different advantages for reaching each level. Um, I have included step-by-step -step instructions on how to place your first order. Of course, if you have signed up directly uh, under me or on Team Mentum, I'm happy to walk you through and help you place your first order. So be sure to reach out to me um, if you want help. I know some of you um, are interested in doing it on your own and don't want to talk to me, so that's fine too. Um, I'm here to provide you as much or as little support as you want. So, um, Avon brochures. Uh, your your kit is going to come with 20 catalogs and that will be 10 for uh, each of your first two campaigns. After that you do want to order brochures. So we are always ordering brochures two campaigns ahead. So when I place my campaign three order, I'm gonna order campaign five brochures. So be sure that when you place your first order, you do order um, brochures. And um, they do come in packs of 10. So if you want 10, put in a quantity of one. If you want 20, put in a quantity of two. Um, if you put in 10, you're gonna get 100 brochures. So um, just understand that they come in packs of 10. And they do become cheaper per pack uh, the more you order. So um, definitely invest in as many brochures as you can um, because that is going to be your main marketing uh, material, your store that you're going to hand out to customers. And uh, the more brochures you hand out, hopefully the more sales you get in return. Um, sales tax, you do need to collect sales tax from your customers. Um, look up your county sales tax rate. Uh, you should be able to find that on the internet or on the bottom of you know a receipt that you have from a retail establishment. Sometimes it'll tell you that percentage at the bottom. So I know my area is 8.25%. So I will take my subtotal of orders, multiply it by 0.0825 to get the amount of sales tax I need to collect from my customers. Avon does charge me for that, but since I have already collected it from my customer, it is no extra expense to me. So um, you do not have to worry about uh, filing your own sales tax. Avon pays it for you. Uh, but you do need to collect it from your customer. So under my account tax information, there's a handy tax calculator. You plug in uh, the percentage of your area and then it gives you um, different amounts based on how the size of your orders. Um, how you get paid. Avon has changed this recently, so most representatives need to pay for their order at the time they submit it. So in order to uh, not have to come up with all kinds of money out of your pocket, I highly recommend that you collect payment from your customers uh, at the time they place their order. Um, if, if the customer gives you any flack or says, hey, uh, you know, I always used to pay my Avon lady when she delivered the order, um, you can just inform them that Avon has changed their policy of when representatives need to pay um, and that's why you're asking for payment up front. If it's someone that you're not comfortable with, um, someone you don't know very well, you may want to ask for half up front um, or a, a deposit so that um, you both can trust each other until you build that relationship. 
Um, if you only ask for half or a down payment, you are going to have to come up with the difference for what the products cost um, out of your pocket. So just understand that. And then um, one other thing to mention, there are unfortunately some scammers out there um, that somehow find new representatives pretty quickly and send contact me requests through your website. So be careful for those. Um, my rule of thumb is that if they are not willing to place the order on my website and I do not know them, I will not accept the order. Um, it will be especially fishy if they say they're coming to your town for an event. Um, you know, they need five of this, seven of this. Um, they're going to send you a money order. So never accept those. Those are scams. Um, I would not accept money order or cashier's check. Anyone that I do not know from out of town, um, I only accept orders uh, through the Avon website process. Oh, okay, so there are plenty of new Avon representative programs to go over. Um, to help you get started off to a successful start and uh, I am gonna go over those in my next video because my daughter is screaming for me so um, I hope you found this information helpful so far and be sure to look up uh, the next video on programs for new Avon representatives um, look me up Emily Segrin makeup marketing online and welcome to Avon